Hi, today I'll be talking more about cells, which is from chapter 2 of the IB Bio HL e-text. And first, let's look at cell theory. Now, cell theory is made of three main tenets, and they are all living things are composed of cells and the product of cells. For example, hair, which is made of the protein keratin. And cells are the smallest unit of life. And finally, cells only come from pre-existing life. And this is the picture of Theodore Schwann, who contributed to the cell, uh, to the cell theory that we study today in modern times. And this is a picture of a prokaryotic cell, which is what we're going to talk about next. And prokaryotic cells have several parts to them. And first of all, they have a cell wall, which is made of protein sugars, and a plasma membrane, which controls which materials enter or leave the cell, a cytoplasm, which is watery fluid that contains enzymes, pili, which are thin protein tubes, flagella, which are long thread-like structures, ribosomes, which consist of RNA and proteins, and play a key role in protein synthesis, and finally, a nucleoid region, which contains the DNA. And next, let's look at eukaryotic cells. And eukaryotic cells, um, there's two main types, plant and animal cells, and they have some differences. Plant cells have a plasma membrane and a cell wall, while animal cells only have a plasma membrane. And plant cells have chloroplasts for photosynthesis, whereas animal cells do not. Plant cells have large permanent vacuoles, and animal cells may or may not have small temporary vacuoles. And as you can see here, this is a diagram of a typical animal cell. And there's many different parts in the cell, which include a mitochondrion, um, the powerhouse of the cell, where ATP production takes place, and the ribosome, and the rough ER, and centrioles, ribosomes, lysosomes, microtubules. As you can see, there's lots of different parts to a typical cell. And finally, let's look at cell membranes. And a cell membrane can be explained using the fluid mosaic model. And the main components of cell membranes um, include the phospholipid bilayer, proteins, and cholesterol. And speaking of proteins, there's two main types, integral proteins and peripheral proteins. And integral proteins are found in between phospholipid molecules, while peripheral proteins are found outside the phospholipid bilayer. And this is what the cell membrane looks like. And thank you for viewing my presentation and I hope it has been an informative guide which will help you in your future studies. Thank you.